Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today I'd like to review Kevin Lee Round and Breaking Iron. And before I talk about the details, I'd like to show you where you can buy these. This is his website. You can also contact him through his uh, Instagram. This is KevinLeatherTools.com. If you scroll down at the bottom page, there's one called KL Round Dent Breaking Iron, which is a really good price. They also take PayPal, and this gives you round dent breaking iron and round dent doesn't mean it doesn't have a wool it will not have a slanted edge if you do the cell stitching it will have a slanted um, stitching as well but um, I really like about this um, breaking iron is that it does give you very nice um, hole and it gives you very nice stitching shape I had really not so much thoughts um, about this um, round dent breaking iron but then when it comes to make watch straps for your small watch um, for small watches this pre does really really good job for doing the stitching and this round dent is also highly polished and it's really nice so I got really really interested into this pre iron um, even though it doesn't have any markings on the, in either side this is 3.0 millimeter it's very very um, narrow stitching work but 3.0 millimeter is quite a nice choice for small leather work when you're making wallets, wall straps. Um, 3 millimeter is a really good choice, even if it's for European um, style, French style breaking iron as well. So if you're looking for size option, 3.0 millimeter is a good choice. And this this breaking iron is also made of S136 stainless steel uh, molding steel. So, like I um, explained earlier in the other Preaking Iron video for Kevin Lee Preaking Irons, this is mold steel. So, uh, the, what mold steel does is when you mold, when you melt the plastic, and this molding steel um, forms into a plastic into a certain shape. So, the molding has to withstand a lot of shock and has to have a certain hardness. And uh, being um, absorbed shock and has to withstand lots of uh, use. Uh, it has to be very tough steel, so hard and tough has to be two things for mold steel, and this is the that steel, so it has has a good characteristic of the steel, and it's a stainless. So, like I already showed you earlier, t told you earlier, a lot of tools uh, for especially traditional tools, they are made of high carbon steel which rusts, but being stainless, you don't have to worry about rust. Um, if you have a sweaty hands, your tools will not get rust. If you're living in humid area or if you're uh, living in a humid country, the rust will not be a problem. So this is another good factor. And as always, other um, Kevin Lee pricking iron, these teeth are sharp and well polished. So it goes into leather very well. It's a, it's a very interesting construction it looks like. It has a normal pricking iron um, body, but the teeth has a very interesting shape if I want to show you closely. So this is what it looks like. So the, the pricking iron teeth are from the body. It's not inserted separately. It's just a ground down into a round shape like this. So this is interesting construction. So. You have um, two prongs and this to be a, a six prong and uh, no sorry it's a seven prong so this to be two prong and this is seven prong uh, which is relatively nice size um, this one is not too long not too short so I think I can manage um, using this kind of setup for 3.0 millimeter spacing so I can do uh, short stitching, long stitching with with this type of um, round dents and uh, it has a very good consistency uh, for rounds so I can I can do different work um, very easily without being so concerned about hole sizes so I will show you how it performs it getting it goes through the hole of the leather so I will show you how the pre performs getting through the leather for the round dents, you can also do the flip back if you're if you can do the stitching and then you can flip your back. You can use the uh, the round dents also, 
and you can do the chrome tan leather, this gold leather, this is a vegetable tan leather, you can use on both, so I'll try to show you the both. So, um, you need a hard surface and you need a soft plate to protect your teeth. So, I mean, not your teeth, I mean your pricking iron teeth, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll do the guideline first and then Kevin Lee Precon always shows you um, very high polished and sharp teeth so penetration it's always easy and it's also nice so it went through all the way from the one shot Of course, it's easier. It goes in deeply, more deeper than deeper than the vegetable tan leather. It does leave a very good mark. So, yeah. As always, Kevin Lee tools come very sharp. So, I will show the holes very closely. So this is the vegetable tan leather. This back side. Also, this is goat leather. Stitching comes very beautifully with this um, goat skin. Also, I will show you. I'll show you what the stitch looks like. This is just one layer thick of a goat skin, and this is a round pricking iron and it shows very stitch very um, flat straight up stitch you know it doesn't show any rice grainy or it doesn't show any diagonal stitch like European French stitching it's just a flat straight up stitch on very thin piece of chrome tan leather and this is um, slight thicker but this is vegetable tan leather and this shows very interesting stitching as well uh, it's a it's a stitching, but it's it shows very nice even stitches like this. Um, it doesn't pop. Uh, it's just um, what I mean. Pop is it doesn't really um, show. It's very subtle stitch. Uh, it doesn't over show um, its existence. So it's very small subtle stitch, and uh, I think it's very nice touch that it it has a um, small stitch like this. I tend to like this kind of work. Um, I don't like to be my work my of work on my stitch too big, so it shows that um, too much diagonal or too much rice grain. I see too much holes between the stitchings, but uh, this one really shows less of uh, space between stitches. This is what I like about, and uh, for small watch straps, I think this iron uh, pricking iron is perfect for the job, and. Uh, this is this is really nice. You can you can also use it um, for bag that you have to turn inside and out uh, in the manufacturing process. You can use a round pricking iron. For that job it is stainless and it penetrates leather much much easier than other type of um, very economic version of uh, this type of tools. And it looks very robust and. Uh, I recommend it and one thing I like about this design also is that it doesn't have any um, big thick part where the other economic uh, round dense precline has tends tendency to have a very thick head which will block your vision while you're trying to make a um, pricking iron work onto your leather which is which is very nice because it has a very good tapered thin design all the way to the teeth so this is a uh, big big plus for this um, cabin round dent pricking iron I like this design I like this uh, round dent pricking iron yeah so this is what the stitching looks like again this is uh, this is vegetable tan leather this is um, French goat skin goat, goat, uh, goat leather if you see on the see back side yeah so that was it so like always, thanks for watching guys as always, and I'll see you guys next video.
拜拜。